Greg Van Avermaet, a former winner of Paris Tours, can turn out a very good sprint when he has to. I can see if I could spot George Hincapie. Yes, there was George Hincapie as well. Oh, there's a little bit of, oh, there's a little bit of Argy Bargy. They've gone down, and that was Bling Matthews was uh, Argy Bargy and touching shoulders there with one or two riders right in the middle. That's what the sprint is all about. It is very, very precarious, and I don't believe it. Bling Matthews is one of the riders who's gone down, and he was going to be a massive big favourite. Matthews went down there, fell very, very hard over on the left-hand side. Somebody was barging up against him, and bang, yeah. all of a sudden, your hopes of a victory have been blown out of the water. Well, this actually uh, rider here, this is uh, Ted King here, who went down. He has only just returned to the bunch, having brought Peter Sagan back into it, and now he's on the floor. And that is uh, Bling Matthews, Michael Matthews of Rabobank. That's why they were racing to the finish, for him to sprint. Another look at it again here now. It was a little touch of riders by the Rabobank team riders there, and they wobbled off each other, took out the rider on the floor from Liqui Gas, and the result is that Michael Matthews himself has lost his chance here. Now, they are just inside three kilometres to go. And Nicholas Roach here, Phil, is also... Are they inside three kilometres to go? In that case, we're very lucky. 1.8 miles, so they will get the same time. But I have to say that... Uh, Nicholas Roach there has also lost a big amount of time. Now the organisation is still on at the front and they're still keeping it nice and high. There's a big line there of riders from Orica Green Edge. They're looking for a victory on the opening day. You can see the chaos and the mayhem of a charge to the line. But poor old Bling Matthews, I reckon he was setting himself up well, for that one. The only thing is, Paul, they were just inside three kilometres. And there we have a rider who will all get the same time with three kilometres out. So they're lucky in that respect, but they're unlucky in as much that Matthews will not be able to contest the sprint. And it was no doubt the Rabobank all day were racing to get a result. But having said that, Paul, it is still Rabobank pushing at the front. They may not even know that Matthews crashed. And Peter Sagan is very comfortably ensconced at the back end of a long line of Liquigas Cannondale riders there, and they, they will try and bring him up to the right point to get himself a victory here this afternoon. He is sitting there at the tail of his riders. You can just see him. He's uh, got a white jersey with a red and blue band across the middle, champion of Slovakia, waiting for the moment when his team will try and open up the gap in front of him. There is one other potential rider on the Rabobank team who could uh, win this in the spin, Wilco Kelderman. Don't forget, we go under the one kilometre Kendall sign. Uh, this is now inside the last thousand yards of the race. Just looking down there, it is the Orica Green Edge team who are beginning to apply the tourniquet. Well, they're really lifting it up now. This is the last moment when you've got to really keep the pressure nice and high, take the speed up to around about 30, 40 miles an hour. This guy here from Green Edge is giving it everything he can, but everybody is lined up behind him in fourth, fifth position there. You can see Peter Sagan. He is comfortably in the right wow. position now, and he's getting a good lead out from a teammate. We're underneath the Highway 101. We pop into our vision. Sargon has gone into second place here. The man who punctured only five miles out from the finish. And Tom Bonin is up there behind him as we go to the other side of the tunnel. A leaky gas boy is running on adrenaline here. He certainly is. He can see the line now. Looked over his shoulder. He's waiting for that last little bit of a kick for the line, but he's right in the middle. As they come up towards the line, Peter Sagan is going to get it. Can you believe that? From a puncture to victory on the day, Bonham was there as well. I'm not surprised that Lee Creek Gas boys are saluting this one because they turned a potential disastrous day into a victorious one. And Peter Sagan is the winner today, and he'll pull on the first race leader's Amgen yellow jersey. Well, he certainly will there. The team uh, did a great job there, Phil, well organized. He got a, quill, a wheel change, not a very fast wheel change, but he never panicked. He waited for the mechanic to get the job done, got back into the convoy of cars, and once he came to the finish line, the team put him into the right place, opened up the doors in front of him, and I'm not quite sure what he's pointing out there, but he's very, very happy to uh, greet <laughs> the crowd here in Santa Rosa with a brilliant victory. His fourth of the year. Yeah, it was his fourth.